Good morning, my six YouTube subscribers. Uh, slacking on the videos. I'm going to not just do knives. I'm just going to do, uh, rev not reviews, but just whatever. Thoughts and opinions on all the things I use. Things I take enjoyment in or the things I use on a daily basis or things I need for work. So we're going to get into these uh, Victos Johnny Combat Boots. Now, I'm real big on American-made products, but um, you're very limited with uh, tactical style boots that are made in the United States. Most of my work boots are all Danner, Red Wing, um, shit like that, but... uh. I was uh, sick of lugging around work boots when it's, you know, 90 and humid. And I do a shitload of walking and climbing and everything from climbing a tree to climbing on roofs to uh, digging in trenches to walking literally eight miles a day weed whacking. So we do everything. Um, one thing I did need in a tactical boot because they're lightweight. And as, as I get older, I need the little... You know, I figure you spend 100, 100, 150 bucks on a pair of boots somewhere in there. If you get a season out of them, chuck them. Uh, my Danners and Red Wings, they're expensive and you can have them resold. And, you know, I actually treat them and take care of them. So, whatever. Enough of that bullshit. But um, these Vic, I chose these. They look amazing. They just look badass. They got all these cool colors. They look, they're like a cross between like a, I don't know, like a sneaker an old school Vietnam jungle boot look with, I don't know, they just look cool. You can see that's one day of cutting grass. <laughs> I chose these because they were waterproof. In the morning, the grass is all wet and dewy, and first lawn you get on, you will have wet feet, so it had to be waterproof. So uh, I understand um, there's going to be guys that are going to go, well, it's... For tactical and it's a combat boot it's not made for landscaping yeah but uh it says it's waterproof they're lightweight they fit what i need so anyways <laughs> sorry guys there's no structure to this video i'm just giving you my opinion first day i got these i've had these like th maybe three weeks now um my right boot was the most comfortable thing i've had they got this like freaking wide toe box so like i don't know they're super comfortable my left one didn't feel right, but as it broke in over the couple of days, then it now they're pretty much the same. Um, that could be a me problem, not a boot problem. <sighs> For some reason, I don't know. I lacing these things, they don't want to cinch up. I don't know if they're they came laced, so I gotta like look into that. But that could be a me problem too. But they're kind of a pain in the ass to lace up. They don't cinch. I don't. I don't know if that's my whatever. This thing, the old ones, I believe, had a zipper going down the back. Now they got this pull thing. It's too small. I got real, I mean, my hands are like medium. And when you're pulling these, these are almost useless. You can't, can't even get my finger in there, especially in a hurry. This shit should come up and down, it bigger. And this, I don't think, after tugging on this a few times, I think it's going to rip right off. But, I mean, whatever, you don't really need it. Quality and the fit and finish to these boots is pretty cool. They look nice, although I do have a little, I can see there's a little bit of, like, a little delamination, I guess you would call it, but whatever. We're going to see what, what's up in the next couple weeks. So maybe I'll do an update. But this, it was just casual work or casual breaking them in. They didn't really need to be broken in, but I just wore them out because they were a new pair of boots. They look cool. I did one... Uh, uh, maybe two, about two eight-hour days in these without grass, just normal work. They were fine, pretty comfortable, couldn't complain. Uh, the, actually, the first day I wore them, we had a downpour here in Buffalo, and I ran outside with these on, and I wasn't in the rain. There, there was like three inches. The water was literally up to here, and it wasn't a matter of... A minute and I could feel water coming in. So I said, well, they're not, you know, they're not a rubber boot. So whatever, you know. 
said, you know, they're totally submerged, so I'm not going to knock them on that. Well, fast forward to yesterday. First day of lawn cutting, which is why I bought these so my feet wouldn't get wet first thing in the morning. First lawn, first lawn, walking on the lawn, weed whacking within, well, we'll call it a minute. My left foot is completely soaked. I wear darn tough socks, best socks on planet Earth. It wasn't a sweating problem. It wicks moisture away. These things leaked within the first <laughs> yeah, minute. And it wasn't even submerged water. It was just water and wet grass hitting them. Whole day, had wet feet. Had the floor heater on. Took them off a couple times. Blew them out with the friggin' uh, blower just to, so my day was tolerable. Um, comfortable, lightweight, awesome, awesome, awesome for work. The work part, no back aches, no nothing. The traction's awesome, but Victos waterproofing. Dear God, epic fail. Uh, I don't want to shit talk the company, but I'm just saying what it is what it is. I still like the boots and it, you know, it's better than wearing a sneaker. It's going to keep you a little dry, but, <laughs> um, but you can argue they're combat boots. They're not made for water, I guess. But uh, whatever. Great boot. Um, I've heard Victos, their warranty is amazing. Great company. They got some sweet clothes and shit. And I'm going to buy probably another pair of these anyways. I'm probably just going to get the ones that aren't waterproof. But uh, whatever. Just so that's your uh, review on the Victos Johnny Combat Boot.